combining the dragger tool with motion lines can give a full body character an exciting and dynamic look. So we need to swap out Rob here and replace him with Magnus. Again, Magnus can be found in the resources, the project files that come with the class. Uh, I've already got them imported, but if you don't, you can go to file and import and get yourself some Magnus. Now, Magnus already has draggable arms or, you know, flippers or whatever, wings, I guess. And how did that happen? So let's do this a little bit differently. We'll, we'll do a little reverse engineering and then we'll add it back in. So I'm going to go up to rig and you can see that he has left and right arms that have been tagged as independent. And much like the dangle option, there is a axis, a center, if you will, for that independent object. So if I zoom in, you can see there's right arm, and that's where it's gonna sort of hinge around. And down here, there is a draggable pin. Okay, so how did that get there? So if I go ahead and delete that, right now, this one, that is the left arm, it will be draggable, but the right arm will not. Okay, so all I have to do is go to the dragger tool, which is next door to the dangle tool we just covered. And if I drag that onto here and click, you can see that I get a draggable tag applied to that spot. Okay, and really that's all it takes to make draggable arms or could be draggable anything really. But what we're gonna do here is actually combine that with another behavior to make these even more dynamic. So here we go. Motion lines. So when you have sort of a tagged object or sort of a pin there, it could be dangle, it could be draggable, it could be all sorts of things, but you can add other modifiers. So if I say I want this to have motion lines, what I can do then is if I, if I have that object selected, I can go down to the behaviors and say, hey, I want this motion lines object to have some very particular parameters. We'll start with the defaults just to show, you, to show you what those look like, and then we'll customize this. So again, it's got two tags. It's draggable and it has motion lines. So let's see what we got. Notice that now when I drag around, there's sort of these little gray lines, but I can't really see those trailing gray lines. We definitely want to crank that up. So I go back to rig and let's crank this up. For starters, let's make it way more visible. So I'll turn the opacity really high and we could have colored lines, but let's just make them black. So RGB values will all be set to zero and we can make the line a little bit wider and now you're gonna see it a lot better. So when I go back to record mode, ooh, right? And you can see, you know, maybe it's a ninja penguin. And there's just a ton of sort of options we can muck about with with those motion lines. And this again would be an effect that if I had to keyframe would take me a very long time. Uh, they don't have to fade. You don't have to have secondary lines. You could uncheck that. You can make the line really wide. You can change the lifespan, how long it is, right? So I'm gonna hold on shift to sort of do uh, times 10 values here. So we could have ridiculously long <laughs> lines that are black, that are really wide. And again, it's another sort of look. Who knows, maybe there's a, a use case for something like that. Um, but, you know, it's just a lot of fun to play with. And, you know, experiment and see what you can get with motion lines combined with draggable. And, you know, it's just super fun. All right, there you go.